All right, picking up some appliances here. There they are. Nice fridge for 40 bucks and a washer and dryer at my buddy's place here. We got a fridge. There's all the appliances, guys. All right. Gonna load this stuff up here and head to the shop. What you giving? That's how we live it. Don't be mad at the system. It's simply how we've existed. So far, <coughs> fridge, <coughs> dryer, but I need a hand with the washer because those are heavy. All right. You guys coming out, give me a hand. All right, we're back at the shop. <coughs> Got my coffee here. Another beautiful day, guys. Let's show you what I picked up. Don't want to fit all this stuff, but I'm going to find some space. Okay, I picked up a nice fridge. Kenmore, 18 cubic feet. Nice condition. All it needs is a little wipe down. That's it. Put the washer and dryer. Maytag. I'm not really fond of Maytag. But you know what? Couldn't resist the deal. 30 bucks a piece. Here we got a Maytag 2000 series washer. Actually, yeah, washer. That was the last one that we put on. And a dryer. Matching dryer. Gas dryer. So for this set, once it's cleaned out and tested, he picked it off in my house that a uh, couple just bought a house and this was left behind from the new owners, from the old owners, and everything works. Otherwise, they wouldn't leave it behind and say that it works, right? And they also came from an expensive area, so that tells me that they work. So that right there is going to give me a good profit of $400. So I paid 60 bucks for both. So I'm going to be profiting $300 something dollars on that. That fridge, 300 bucks easy all day. All he needs a wipe down nice shape and I usually like the fridges that don't have the coils in the back they're flat like that one the ones with the coils are older fridges and he had another fridge here that gave me free parts so you know you can't go wrong with fridge parts that's for sure so I'm gonna unload this sales have been iffy so far I've had a lot of people but they don't want to pay my price. So. But they're getting quality here and working stuff because they keep BFing. Well, I bought this off some person, it doesn't work. Mine's guaranteed. It don't work, I fix it, bring it back, take something else. Yeah, I'm really tight for space now. And Monday, I got four fridges to pick up from an apartment complex to get rid of them. So yeah, I'm gonna fit that in here and I'm gonna have no more space. I'm gonna have no more space. What is Carmack gonna do? If I didn't have that flea market stuff back there, I don't know what to do. I don't know. This is not good. This is not good. This, here, I just gotta get a new seal here for the door. Ripped the old one off, it was all moldy, so. But yeah. I really don't want to block myself in so I can't go in there and work. So I'm going to have to figure something out. Beautiful day. Look at this. I'm going to love summer, guys. I'm going to love summer. So we're going to figure something out here. This washer here is the heaviest damn thing to pick up. Gave me a hand to load it up here, but they have solid bricks in them to keep them balanced when they spin. Okay, car max and start unloading here, guys. What was I thinking? Jeez, I'm in the wrong spot here. I gotta go to my unloading location right there. What the hell? Car max lost his mind. Just forgot about the unloading spot. Oh man.
I'll leave it here because I gotta clean it up anyways. Yeah, if I don't put this strap on this, I'll never be able to tilt it back on the dolly. It'd be impossible. Yeah. It's a nice set. Not to the other one. These came off here. That's not a big deal. Where'd it go? Somewhere here. Like this, I think. What that is, but it just slid off. How does she go back on? Oh, this way. Somehow like that. I'll figure it out afterwards. Alright. We'll get the other stuff off. Are we recording here or what? Oh yeah, I think so. Okay, everything's off the trucks, spare parts are there. That's the fridge I need to seal for the door. Here's the other fridge, give you guys a quick look. Like, uh-oh, bottom crisper. Damn, I hope I have one. I have a lot of parts, so hopefully I got a bottom crisper. But yeah, let's check it out. Just a little cleaning, that's it. Just a little cleaning, excuse me. Other than that, the seal's nice all around the fridge. Little dirt, that's it. Nice seal. Got the bottom rail there. All the rails on the doors. The 18 cubic fridge. Nice back, you can put a water maker to it. Very nice shape. I really scored, a little dense, but that's okay. Other than that, you know what? That's a nice looking fridge. Get a view from here. All right, now for the washer and dryer. Very nice. Close the door, it's letting the air out a bit. There you go. Washer and dryer is set. Nice set. The only problem with these are, is this seal here. You get dirt, see that's just dirt. I always check them, make sure it's not cracked or ripped the seal. Needs a good cleaning. It's got some mold issues, but not too bad. I'm gonna put some cleaner here, clean it all out. As long as it's all not ripped, it's in good shape. You're okay. Spin the drum, no noise. Uh, not much move them back and forth. Like, you don't hear noise, bearing noise or anything like that. She spins nice. Seal's okay, this needs cleaning. Got all the knobs, door's okay. She latches nice. Of course, nice. And now try to fit all the stuff in here, which will have no more workspace, and that's not good. So I'm gonna have to do something, rearrange it somehow, or I don't know. This is getting overload. Carmack One's getting overload here, that's for sure. We'll figure something out. Okay, fridge is all clean. Check her out. But I don't have a bottom crisper for it. I checked everywhere. And they're not, she's clean. All the shelves are nice and clean. This here I can't get off. I don't know what that is. I don't know what that is, but who cares. It's a used fridge, right? I touched up all the little scratches, some white paint. And now she looks good. Cleaned all the front of it. Doors look nice. Ready to go. Let her air out a bit. Shelves are good. Yeah, this is one crisper, so I don't know. This ain't holding too good. Stay in there. Not a bad fridge, you might say. This little dirt out here. Alright. And I polished this all up nice. I can't seem to get this mold out of here. You have to try to use something else. Oh, that little hole there is blocked, I think. No. I have to try to use something else. Get that cleaned up. Some people don't care, some people do, so you never know. There's always a buyer for something, right? Alright, stay tuned. Alright, Carmack one's lost it now. I was gonna bring this dryer home to use this one instead of that dryer. 
figuring I bought this off a lady a, lot, a while ago for 50 bucks. Told me, oh yeah, it works fine. Plugged it in, wasn't working, it was saying sensing. So I thought it was just dirty. So here I am, stuck on a balcony. Can't get in the house. All the crap here on the floor. Drum pulled out. Belt's not even hooked up. The pulley on the wheel fell right off. There it is on the corner if you can see it. There's the pulley. There's the belt right off the motor. When I plugged it in, it said it was saying sensing. Yeah, pretty bad shape. Now I gotta get this back together and get this off the balcony. This is just crazy. Oh my god. I mean, I need a shop. I really do. This is a bit overwhelming here. Alright, let's get this back together and see if we can get it working and get it out of here. Tell you what happened here. So much lint. These wheels are hardly spinning. They're stiff. Because all the dirt inside here, look at it, look at it. So they weren't spinning because all this crud. Look at it. They were all jammed up. The, the pulley wheels, see? All this crud in it. And that's what made the pulley. Where is it? That's the worn down the inside of the pulley. You can see it. It's all worn down. Can't even use it again. It's gone. I need a new pulley. We hook the belt. Put it all together. First, I gotta clean all these wheels here because they're so dirty and crud. And re grease them. Look at that. Oh my god, how do you expect these wheels, these pulleys to move? Holy Jesus. Look at that. Look at that. Oh my god. That's on your own pets, I guess. Holy Jesus. Look at that. How can that even move? Oh my god. Incredible. These washers are so hard to get into, these dryers. It doesn't make it easy. My God. That needs to be re greased. Wheels are put back on. And re greased. Look at that. Oh my God. What have I got myself into today? Could have just enjoyed it. It doesn't still spin. Look at that. Put the link on. It's got to be greased. There's one cleaned. Triangle back on. A little bit better. Alright, look at this one here. Holy Jesus. Take the triangle off. There's your triangle that holds it in. There's all the crud. Oh my god, hair and everything else. Look at it all. Oh my god. How do you expect these pulleys to work? Look at that. Oh my god. Look at that crap. Holy Jesus. That's why it's not spinning. That's why the whole damn thing busted off here. Look at my hands blackish. A little bit better. The diamond back on. It's going to hold it in there. That's where the drum sets on these pulleys here. But if they're all clogged out, they don't spin properly. It ain't going to work. Here, let's just vacuum that crap out. Look at the motor. I don't even know how the motor works. Could be wasting my time, and that would suck. Okay, let's vacuum that crap up.